Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss one important topic of noise triangle, which is uh, related to the effect of noise on uh, frequency modulated signal. The frequency modulation is more immune to the noise than uh, AM or PM. However, the noise immunity of FM is dependent on modulating frequency, which is not the case with amplitude modulation. So let's see what exactly this noise triangle is. Before we discuss noise triangle, we consider a signal to uh, signal noise voltage uh, having some frequency that falls in the passband of the receiver. So what we have uh, done in this particular phasor diagram, which which is there in, uh, on the screen right now, is that we have taken a carrier vector uh, whose uh, amplitude is VC. So this is my ca carrier vector here. And on this carrier vector, we are superimposing the noise vector Vn. Uh, it will get superimposed on uh, carrier vector because both Vc and Vn, uh, they will not have uh, the same frequencies. Uh, the noise may not have the same frequency as the carrier frequency. So we are uh, drawing noise vector starting from the tip of the carrier vector. Also you can see uh, if the phase uh, of carrier vector is taken as zero then the phase of noise vector is not zero. Uh, the noise signal has got some uh, non-zero phase value which is nothing but phi n. The difference between the noise frequency and the carrier frequency will be omega n minus omega c. So uh, the noise voltage will mix with the carrier to produce interference. As shown in the figure the noise vector is superimposed uh, on the carrier vector and it will be rotating at a relative angular velocity of omega n minus omega c because omega n will not remain constant uh, this noise vector will keep on rotating uh, at an angular frequency of omega and minus omega c and every time we consider a different noise vector uh, that will be because the phase of the noise will also keep on changing. So as this phi n changes the noise vector will rotate and the, the tip of the noise vector will travel through a circle. So in this particular uh, uh, case you can see the resultant will be nothing but this particular vector here uh, because I can also draw the same noise vector Vn here because uh, this red colored vector that I have drawn has the same amplitude as Vn which we have shown here because uh, both represent the red eye of this particular circle hence the magnitudes are exactly same. Uh, but yes, uh, the phase values will be different. But when it comes to measuring the resultant, I can draw the resultant considering this vertical noise vector. So you can see that the resultant vector is obviously different from the carrier vector and hence this corresponds to the interference which gets introduced due to the noise. 